Today we're going to be taking a look at the light independent or the Calvin cycle, which is where carbonate molecules are assembled by using energy harvested from the light dependent reaction, if you remember from yesterday, the ATP and NADHP. This takes place in the stroma. What happens first in this cycle is carbon fixation. This is when a CO2 molecule combines with the five carbon acceptor molecule, ribose-1,5-biphosphate, which is RUBP. This step makes a six carbon compound that splits into two molecules of a three carbon compound, 3-phosphoglyceric acid. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme RUBP, or Rubisco. Next, reduction happens. ATP and the NADPH are used to convert the 3-PGA molecule into molecules of a 3-carbon sugar, which is G3P. This is called reduction because NADHP donates electrons to or reduces a 3-carbon intermediate to make G3P. Finally, in the Kelvin cycle, there is regeneration. Some G3P molecules go to make glucose, while others must be recycled to regenerate the RUBP acceptor. It requires ATP and a complex network of reactions, which I won't cover now. I have a question. Is this how weird plants work, like cacti? Oh, what a great question! I just described C3 plants, which are plants that undergo the Calvin cycle. They are called C3 plants because in photosynthesis, the sugar and CO2 form a molecule with three carbon atoms in the chloroplast. There are also C4 and CAM plants. C3 plants thrive under normal conditions. C4 plants thrive under high temperature, high water, and high light availability. And CAM plants thrive under high temperature, low water availability conditions. A C4 plant is a plant that cycles CO2 into four carbon sugar compounds to enter the cycle, compared to C3 plants with three carbon sugar compounds. These plants are very efficient in hot, dry climates, and they make a lot of energy. Because of this, many plants we eat are C4 plants, such as corn, pineapple, sugarcane, you know, etc. C4 plants are special because they can avoid photorespiration, which is a wasteful reaction that occurs when plants take in O2 and give out CO2 instead of taking in CO2 and releasing O2. For C4 plants, the light-dependent reaction and the Calvin cycle are physically separated, with the light-dependent reactions occurring in the mesophyll cell, which are spongy tissues in the middle of the leaf, and the Calvin cycle occurring in special cells around the leaf veins. These cells are called bundle shelf cells. Oh, and the cactus you asked about is a cam plant. These are plants that are adapted to dry environments, succulents like cacti, for example. They use the crossulus, I don't know how to say it, acid, <laughs> metabolism pathway to minimize photorespiration. CAM plants, or CAM plants, separate the light dependent reactions and the use of CO2 in the Calvin cycle based on time. At night, CAM plants open their stomata, allowing CO2 to diffuse into the leaves. The CO2 is then fixed into, <clears throat> excuse my pronunciation, oxalocutate by pep carbolase. It was a rough night last night. Didn't get much sleep. Anywho, then it is converted to malate or any other type of organic acid. The organic acid is stored inside vacuolus until the next day. In the daylight, the cam plants do not open their stomata, but they can still photosynthesize. That's because the organic acids are transported out of the vacuole 
and broken down to release CO2, which enters the Calvin cycle. I hope this answered your question. Yeah, I guess it did.